Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are making the walkthrough and solution of all of the puzzles of From the Darkness. So I'm gonna try to make also speed round, speed round, speed run of this game and I think the game takes about two and a half hours three hours more or less um, if you try to investigate and read all of the story I will try to finish this one in one and, a, one and a half hours that would be the goal and yeah well I played this one only once it's uh, an indie game of course horror game and it's kind of basic so what you see here is all you got for the options and it's all you get for um, a menu screen whatsoever so I was at the end of the game so I will start a new one yeah you see the background is now different and yes new game and then play yeah all right I think you are not even able to use a game path. Yeah. So it's connected but it's not supporting a game path so maybe I missed something but I think as I mentioned before it's a very basic game but it's a really good one. It's a really really good one. And that's our objective to get into the 64th apartment of somewhere. Uh, and it's really scary actually it could easily be a Silent Hill mini game and I really liked it I mean the environment is good the graphics the puzzles are also very good so I like the game so that's why I'm making this walk walkthrough and I hope you enjoy it so I'm gonna be try to I'm gonna try to be fast in the solution of the puzzles. I think we can do this in one and a half hours. And that's what we are doing for today. And well you have the number of the apartments over there, 51, 52. Um, the document I will be uh, skipping the documents I won't be reading all of them um, because of the speed run so if we want to be fast we can't be reading all of them and that's it 53 54 you have here the the lift it's not working of course bit dark but anyway so right at the beginning we are focused on the game but a little bit later we will be focused on story and on the envi environment it's really immersive this game a little jewel actually what well, so this is it yeah so let's check 64 yeah so sixth floor and uh, you have here one apartment but that's not what we are looking for and the other one is here dear neighbors if you don't stop making noise at night we will call the police i've been there i've been there this apartment has long been abandoned so what you have to do here is, of course, turn on the lights, you have no electricity, so you pick up the key, open this lock, and turn the breakers on. Uh, pick up the family album and leave. That's a very simple objective and this is it you guys this is only this apartment this is the game this apartment 
So we have to find the family album and get the hell out of here. So in this game you find that uh, this is only one apartment, right? So you have to take a close look to most of this yeah, doors, drawers, closets and so on because you will find very important items over there so this is what we are doing and as soon as you get into the rooms you will have to turn on the lights otherwise you, can, you could die and actually you I don't remember if you die here but turn on the lights always turn on the lights graphics are very good and we have it's too dark so we can't go there for the moment and we have no idea where the switch is as well as here no switch let's move on and here it's uh, we have no let me check okay this bulb is broken but it's near the toilet so that means the switch was outside and that's it abandoned cockroach nothing more I'm not going to spoil you what's happening next but yeah well in this one it's locked so the rooms will be changing according of what you do you trigger some new events like this for instance now Everything's dark again. Someone is playing jokes. So we turn on the breakers again and here we go. So now we turn them on and we can investigate again a little bit. That's the idea of this game, that you go back and forth. You will trigger events and do different things along the game. Until now, in this room, nothing has changed. Did you hear that? Now the door is open. Missing part. So the switch um, has to be around here somewhere and I think, look at this, we could open this one. So we need a switch. Uh, yeah, switch. We have there the pliers. We will need them a little bit later. And what was the damn switch? Yeah, by the way, I have no. No script, so I played the game once and this time I think it's more realistic that way. I remember the switch was here somewhere. Where now? 
Now it beats me. What the hell? I think it was this way. Hmm. So you have to try a lot of stuff so you can trigger new stuff. No, not yet. Oh, yes. You have to go a little bit further and... There was a key over there. And then now finally you go back and you use the key here in this door. Alright. That was was what was missing. And now you have the switch. This one's closed and will remain like that for the most part of the game as far as I remember. So the light is off. Someone's playing games with us of course. And we will carefully place the switch and turn on the light. And get a little bit scared. Good thing is that we have a reflection. Not in every game. to this uh, to this doll this is just a doll right so I will come back to that later what else guitar we can hide the first time I was here I thought damn it we will have someone chasing us but Actually, no spoilers, but no, not exactly. We won't have anyone chasing us. And I think we triggered already something because there's nothing else here. Oh, the album. Uh, of course, there's something else. So, get out. Yes, gladly. So we would like to get out, but we can't because we haven't found the family album. So we will come back and it's a little bit different. And we hear some wind, which is not wind. It's TV set. Look at this. This one is the door on the room we couldn't lit up and there's something there so we have to go check. And that's it. Objective, get out. So we had two objectives. One, find the family album and the second one was to get the hell out of here. So. Let's do that. And what do you know? We can't. Ooh. Maybe it's too dark here, but there's a wall. So now we are trapped here. We saw a shadow or something coming in. Now it's locked and we get very nervous. nervous. Look 
little by little is this game playing with us as you can see. No, 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 no. Don't turn off the lights. So it was closed, so let's try this and go again. I think we don't need anything. Uh, look at this, now we have blood here. And it opened. Someone there, I don't know if you can see, this is way too dark, but it's someone like eating or something, so uh, I would like to step away, but I can't. That means we have to go in. Stop playing. Stop. Stop it. And now take a look to the doll. Now the thing is following you with its eyes. So kind of, kind of creepy. I mean, there is no jump scare it's only creepy and I like that, that kind of horror uh, can we turn on the radio no we can't and here I think we have never something over there so all right yeah well that was the radio here now everything is full of blood but still we can't do anything and we can't open this door uh, let's go to the radio yeah now it's saving so we triggered something already this creepy doll Oh, yeah, you have to try pretty much everything what you have in this department. Apartment. So you can... Oh, holy shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's... This was the sound. Oh, don't turn off the lights, turn it on. All right, and now we have uh, this piece of information. I don't know these items, as far as I remember, they are for a lock. Switch, so we have to run. And open. Here's the padlock. Yep. Okay, here we have four um, symbols, and each one has a color red, green, blue, yellow. And of course, we have no idea what the colors are on till we take a closer look to the room so on the ceiling you will see red is like a triangle
yellow is like an egg. Couldn't, uh, but all right. It's blue. is like an M. I mean, I'm talking a lot. I think, but if you play this game all by yourself in the dark, without saying a word, then it's then it's really creepy. Holy shit! I didn't see that the first time around. Oh, creepy it is. Holy crap! We have no electricity. Oh. And here we can't do anything. Yeah, I know. Now we have to get into this room. Yeah, it took me a while. It's like an F. Or maybe it's an F. That means you have to press F, so you have to be in the dark. If you press again, then you hear. Actually, you actually hear a voice? This room stinks of a corpse. Uh, and I was trying to go along the whole time in the darkness, but I think you can't do this without being in the dark. Here's a corpse. Corpse. And you have three items, a finger, an eye, and some teeth equals a key, so in order to get the key you will need those three items. Uh, the puzzle on the back was about that, actually. It was I uh, put him into concrete. So now this one's leaking, uh, we will do that later. So the first item will be here, in the oven, it's kind of like a pizza, but it's a finger and ears pizza, so you can take the, the finger 
over here and the eye where have we seen an eye? oh we need some pliers well anyway teeth you remember this room it was dark and it's kind of creepy as well because we could get in there and we didn't even know that there was a corpse here so the fact that we went into the room without knowing we had this corpse there is kind of creepy the pliers, the pliers, the pliers um, okay you have to get the pliers first which were actually here there you go and we also need bolt cutters for this door we'll come to that later so pliers and we have the teeth teeth so we just need the... Whoa. look at this photograph, it's now hanging there it's also creepy and where the hell are the pliers? Uh, not the pliers, the, the bolt cutters not in the pizza not in the fridge we need to cut down those he doesn't like light really we have seen that already oh yes it, it took me also a while because look at this it's all bloody this door and you don't get to see anything in here so I thought yeah well there's nothing to see but actually there is you will have to there and go into the room walk for a little it looks like you are out but you're still in the room so when you you will get to the chair take the key and now it's normal as it was before so you get the key and I don't remember if you will use it here or yeah now it's in this small room so this one hmm. this one has the the bolt cutters oh! Creepy, creepy sounds. Creepy. It's a nice experience. So and um, here, I dare you play this game. Yeah, this is the the creepy doll, and it'll cry the whole time until you gush an eye out and it bleeds well whatever now we have the three items so we can come back to the wall and we give him teeth eye <laughs> and finger and then we will get the key he's stronger in the dark in the dark when you light up all, the, all of the rooms it will get weaker and you can get out there's the key to the box under the ceiling thank you open wide and give me the key so this one
So we have candles. That's good, but we don't have a lighter. So we need to explore again to find the lighter. This game is already empty. Whoa! So it looks like we can get out. But of course... It's actually... Not the way out, it's only creeping us out. So... We go this way. And from here you will have to be careful, otherwise you will run around in circles like forever and there will be a point in which the game will tell you listen carefully. That means If you come closer to the to the doors, you will hear something. If you hear something, it means you don't want to go there. You want to go the other way around or try another door where you don't hear those sounds. Uh, here, this one is open or a little bit open. And of course there's someone there, so you don't want to go that way. You will take this one, and I hope I remember the route. And listen to the music or to the effects. It's basically Silent Hill, which I like. So you will come this way, and now I screwed it. Screw this up. You need to listen. Exactly. So, we will have to repeat all the way from the beginning, and that's the thing. So, we we'll have to, this guy here. So, we want to go, to go downstairs, take this one, this door with the eyes. Eyes. We will take that one. Oh yes, you go back. You would think this is where we came from, but not quite. If you go back, then the room changes. There is only one room. <laughs> there was a staircase over there. Yeah. So, you need to listen. All the way from the top. So you have this guy. Where is the guy? Here. So we want to go downstairs. As I mentioned, I don't have a script. So it's a little bit more genuine. You make mistakes, you fix those mistakes, and you move on. Alright, then you have that one, then you go back, then you have the hands, and there has to be a staircase there. Yeah, there we are. We want to go upstairs. And from certain point you will have only one way. I think this these doors are all open, but you don't you have nothing to see there. You will have here an X and X marks the spot. So, you open it and then you go through. You will have a second one. 
and from this point on you can move on. Yeah, if you can hear you. Creepy sounds coming from that door, so we don't want to go there. And it looks like we are out. But you have an invisible wall here. So you can't move forward. And what you see is not a building, it's just a creepy boulder. So no other way to go than going back into the building or into the nightmare. Now you have this door and wait for it. Creepy guy. Really creepy guy. Just surrounding him so you can take a look to this guy and what do you see here he's got a lighter we need that for the candles so V to light the lighter all right now we don't have a flashlight we only have a very small, very useless lighter. So we have to deal with this. And we don't want to go outside. There's nothing there. You want to go upstairs again. Where to? To the apartment. Apartment 64. So, 38 minutes, we are doing fine. Uh, yeah, creepy sounds. Yeah, no, don't, don't go in. Don't go in. And here you also go. You also have creepy sounds. Vice inside, vice inside. Thanks for watching, thanks for coming over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, this is the creepy guy from downstairs. So, the normal choice would be not to go in, but in a horror game, you have to be here with this guy in the elevator and go up to the room. 64 so there's no room 64 so you have to uh, go out as soon as you have the chance i guess let me hear no there there you are so this is the one so we are here and we're back in the room why not the thing is to light up the lights in all rooms so we can take one candle at a time so this room is lit we take the second one of course it's not going to be that easy Flashlight. Oh, yeah, now. Now 
the lighter is working. So, again, the candle here is lit, here is also lit. Let's take one. This actually is a hallway. Anyway, it's a room, so we need to we need to light this up. This one as well. Don't worry about the fire if we fire the whole. Oh come on! The whole apartment it doesn't matter. As soon as we get rid of the ghosts, I'll be fine. So again, this presence is trying to prevent us to light up all of the all of the candles. Room. 
there you go. Every single room, room is lit. That means we can go out and as you can see, uh, goodbye. Now the staircase looks normal, the other apartments look also normal. The lift or the elevator is still stuck but anyway broken is not possessed so broken is good. Thank you, thanks, and thanks for watching, and first floor, do we have a basement or something I think, no, well, I lobby, first floor, not a lobby, exit, and what do you know? <laughs> maybe a, a cliffhanger maybe not and that's it I thought it would take one and a half hours it was 50 minutes it's a mini mini game mini mini indie horror game very scary though so it was really good really good and it's a good idea for the new Silent Hill games coming up so I wanted to stream this uh, maybe if you're stuck uh, I hope I could help thanks a lot for watching and I will see you soon again thanks bye bye